Aseptic Process Simulation APS, is a critical validation method used to assess the aseptic filling process in pharmaceutical manufacturing. It simulates the actual product filling operation by using a sterile microbiological growth medium in place of the drug product to detect any potential contamination during the filling process. Aseptic Process Simulation APS, is a critical validation method used to assess the aseptic filling process in pharmaceutical manufacturing. It simulates the actual product filling operation by using a sterile microbiological growth medium in place of the drug product to detect any potential contamination during the filling process. Preparation and planning, protocol development. A detailed protocol is prepared outlining the number of runs, duration, intervention simulations, and acceptance criteria. Selection of growth medium. A suitable culture medium, typically triptic soy broth, PSB, is chosen as it supports the growth of a wide range of microorganisms. Worst case scenarios. Media fills are designed to simulate worst-case conditions, such as prolonged production runs, routine and non-routine interventions, and manual manipulations. Sterile preparation. All materials, equipment, and the environment involved in the media fill must be sterilized and handled aseptically. Sterilization of the isolator. Before starting the media fill, the isolator is sterilized using methods like vapor phase hydrogen peroxide (VPHP). Filling process simulation. The growth medium is filled into containers, vials, syringes, etc., following the same procedures used for the actual drug product. Number of units. A predefined number of units, based on batch size and risk assessment, are filled to provide sufficient data for evaluation. Interventions. Operators perform routine and non-routine interventions, such as opening the isolator glove ports or adjusting equipment, to simulate real operational scenarios. Duration of run. The media fill is often designed to mimic the actual duration of a production run, covering long filling periods to test the process's robustness.
Incubation. After the fill, the containers are incubated under specific conditions that allow any contamination to grow. Typically, this involves incubation temperature. 20 to 25 degrees Celsius for 7 days followed by 30 to 35 degrees Celsius for an additional 7 days, or vice versa. Alternative conditions. Some protocols may call for a single temperature, e.g., 20 to 25 degrees Celsius or 30 to 35 degrees Celsius, for 14 days. Inspection and evaluation. Visual inspection. After incubation, each container is inspected for microbial growth, indicating contamination. If the broth appears turbid, this suggests potential contamination. Acceptance criteria. The typical acceptance criterion is zero contaminated units. If microbial growth is detected, an investigation is conducted to determine the source and take corrective actions. Documentation and reporting. All results are documented, and a report is generated summarizing the media fill run, interventions, incubation conditions, and results. Regulatory compliance. Media fill results are subject to regulatory scrutiny and must demonstrate that the aseptic filling process is under control. Frequency of media fills. Initial qualification. Media fills are performed as part of the qualification of the aseptic process. Routine requalification. Media fills are typically conducted at regular intervals, e.g., semi-annually or annually, and whenever there are significant changes in equipment, processes, or personnel. Critical points. Simulation of aseptic conditions. Every potential source of contamination, including personnel interventions and equipment malfunctions, must be considered during media fill simulations. Operator training. Operators need to be well trained and understand how to handle interventions and minimize contamination risks during media fills. Investigation of failures. Any failures in a media fill, e.g., contaminated units, should trigger a comprehensive investigation and possible requalification of the process.